So you were caused by this gentleman who was caused by me, I was caused by you. Yeah. Could this explain this? Because my, depend, my existence depends on you. Your existence depends on him and so on. This cannot explain anything because it simply would fall from explanation for anything. Let me give you a reason. You see this microphone? Suppose yeah, but I, I get your point, but but no, no, let, no, let's discard it by reason, not by I want to discard it. Reasonably, we discard it and reject it by reason. So this is not reasonable. So if I want to lift lift this mic from the floor, I can only do this if you lift it before me. He can only do this if he lifts it before me. He can only do this if I lift it before him. Sure. So this is the condition. It's like our existence. Would this ever be lifted? It will never be lifted. If, if, if I want to lift yeah. this, he has to lift it. You have to lift it first. You to lift it first. You have to do it first. Yeah. So a cyclical causation cannot explain our trigger okay. for our universe. Okay. Maybe. So, but, uh, so maybe. If there's a start, let's 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 disregard things which are not reasonable. So cyclical causation is not reasonable for our universe. The other option you gave. What's your name? Kurt. Kurt. Yeah. Kurt, I am Mansur. Kurt, the other op nice way to you. The other option you gave was maybe it's forever. In philosophy, there's something called the infinite regress. I'm sure you've probably heard of it. Yeah. Same problem again here. You cannot have an infinite causation for something uh, expanded. Imagine now, I want to give mother. I want to give an example with you. So imagine. This is a chain that goes on, right? So I have to take this mic, I need to give it to him. If between me and him, there are infinite number of people, like you, I have to give it to you first, you have to give it to this gentleman, and that gentleman gives you another gentleman, and they go for infinite amount of people to go and you get to you. If between me and him there are infinite amount of people, would it reach him? It would never reach him because always someone can infinite. If our universe had infinite amount of causes, if you think about it, it would never be in existence. Because something else would be talking about as the cause. Our universe would never exist if there were infinite positions. So infinite regress problem solved issues of that it's not reasonable to assume that our universe had a trigger which had a trigger which had a trigger go infinity. Our universe would never have existence. The only reasonable option that's left is there was a cause, prior to that there was no cause. It's the first cause. Has to be the first cause. So you can get it. The first cause. To be, so you give the universe the property of consciousness, will? No, not just. I'll address that in a second. Let's address this in three words. When you say what created the first cause, we already said there cannot be no creator for this first cause because what created that creator? What created that creator? It can go on forever. But if you go on forever, this universe will never come into existence. The fact that the universe is here, that chain of causation is finite. So at one point, there is a cause, prior to that, there is no other cause. We say this is the first cause, which is uncaused. It has to be. If you are going to explain rationally this universe, that cause has to be uncaused. No cause prior to that. So if that cause was caught, it is uncaused. It was there always. Because the fact that you have this evidence. That is why the universe itself is an evidence of a creator which is always in existence. Eternal in existence. Yeah, I think creation was a moment of luck. Something sparked. You see, whatever triggered it, yeah, but that, that trigger represent necessarily the God's people believing. If you consider a, a spark, a spark or whatever, whatever triggered it, itself has the ability to bring about the transformation, power, and 
there was no evolution. Evolution is just, evolution is just a process that is described in which life is transforming from something simpler to something complex. That is the like theory of evolution. An egg to a chicken. We are talking about matter, the physical universe, before life was in this world. That's why, you know, it's important to go beyond evolution as our, you know, comfort zone and go back to the existence of matter, of the cosmos, of stars and galaxies. When we have this universe, this universe has been transformed into our reality from what? By what? By something that has a volition, a choice. Without a choice, it would not have a happened. If you had something that exists always, from this, how would you regard the trees? Should they eat? Yeah. 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 all of those? Yeah. I need to leave you. Interesting oh. discussion. Yeah. But uh, anyway, think about it. I'm yeah, a Muslim. I'm a Muslim. We believe in Allah. We believe in Quran. Is the oh. relationship with God? Sent to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So if you believe in Allah and follow Prophet Muhammad, you'll be safe from hellfire. And if you don't, you are risking it. You are risking it. So take care.